Hey everyone, Kyle here. If you want bulletproof security that runs quietly in the background while you work, today I'll walk you through click by click how to set up Bitdefender for full device protection on Windows or Mac OS in 2025. By the end of this video, you'll have a real-time antivirus software, an airtight firewall, and smart scan schedules dialed in. That way, you can stop worrying about threats and stay focused on building your business. The first thing I want to do though is give you a 60-second reality check. Malware, phishing files, and zero-day exploits are evolving so much faster than any solo fix can keep up with. Bitdefender is actively staying ahead of these by updating its threat database on an hourly basis and bundling AV, firewall, and behavior-based AI into one lightweight engine. All along with this video, you're going to need some basic things, like administrator rights on whatever system you're trying to install Bitdefender on, a valid Bitdefender key, and a machine that meets the basic Windows 10 11 or Mac OS 10.15 plus at least two gigabytes of RAM, four gigabytes will feel a little bit smoother here, and 2.5 gigabytes of free space on your device. Make sure to verify that your internet connection is also steady. We'll activate and pull fresh virus conditions once we've actually fully installed this engine. If another antivirus is running, make sure to disable it or uninstall it to avoid any installation conflicts. Once you have all that good to go, you'll be ready to down the installer from Bitdefender official website. So let's go ahead and dive straight into the setup on how you can actually get started with doing that. The first thing we're going to want to do to download Bitdefender is head down to the description and click the link we have down there. Once you click the link for Bitdefender, it should take you to this page right here. As you can see here, the first thing we're going to do is go and show you guys how to get started with one of their pricing plans. You can take a look at either their family plans or potentially their individual plans. It just depends on what your personal needs are. Go ahead and choose the individual plans for now, which will take us to this screen. Now, as you can see, there are a bunch of different plans that we can choose from, each coming in at different pricing and each coming with different types of features depending on what your needs are. As you can see here, obviously the more features that we get with each plan, the more expensive they tend to become. There's also the ability to compare plans here where we can see pretty much on a breakdown plan by plan basis, we can see exactly what we can actually purchase and what we get with that purchase. Now, as you can see right here, they basically have core offerings that you can choose from. They have a basic plan, a more popular premium plan, a slightly more popular ultimate plan, and then some other individual plans that come with even more features than the basic plans. Now, if your main focus here is getting full device protection for your plan, I'd highly recommend going with something like their premium plan, or in some cases, their just simple security plan. These are going to be some of the most affordable plans here, and you're going to save a huge amount of money when you use that link down in the description. Once you pick which of these plans you want to go with, you'll simply hit the buy now button, which will then take you to the checkout page. Once you're on the checkout page, you'll make sure to look over all this and see if anything lines up or if you want to add anything else to your overall plan. Once this looks good, you'll then hit the add to cart button, which will take you to their final checkout page. Once you're on their final checkout page, you'll enter in basic things like your billing information and your personal info. And just like that, you can get started with Bitdefender in just a matter of seconds. Now, once you've purchased your Bitdefender subscription, the next thing you're going to want to go about doing is download the DMG file. This is basically how you're going to install the application inside of your machine, whether you're on Mac OS, Windows, or any other kind of device, and then you'll be able to start installing the application and start running the software. Once again, to make sure you don't have anything that could conflict with this software already installed. That includes other types of VPNs or even potentially antivirus software. Bitdefender is also extremely safe and super reliable so you don't have to worry about downloading something that you feel sketched out about. Once you have the DMG file on your computer, the setup wizard is going to appear on your screen. The next up here is going to be scrolling through the license terms and clicking the I agree button and then ultimately choosing an installation type. I would highly recommend leaving this open on the default option which will basically install the antivirus engine, firewall engine, and the bundled VPN protection all in one shot. Although you can pick custom if you need to change the install directory or leave out specific modules that you don't want. Once you confirm this, the installer will unpack everything. You could probably expect about two or three minutes for this overall process, especially if you're on an SSD. So it could be slightly longer on an older hard drive. Once the progress bar hits 100%, you can then go about clicking the finish button and re reboot it if prompted to do so. Big Defender drivers can also hook into the operating 
operating system. After restart, make sure to look into the red bit defender shield in your Windows task bar or on the Mac OS menu bar. That icon means that the software is all resident and, and ready for activation. Open bit defender from your desktop or click on the my account tab and paste it in your product key. I hit that activate button and wait a couple seconds for bit defender servers to validate the license. Once you see the green check mark, pivot to the protection panel and toggle on real-time protection. This will always be running the scanner that stops malware before it starts touching any part of your system. While you're here, make sure to slide over to the network section and confirm that the firewall is enabled. You can then go about setting up your current Wi-Fi as a private profile. That way trusted devices on your home network can talk to each other and leave everything else on the public preset for tighter rules when you're at, for instance, like something like a coffee shop. The next step here is going to jump inside of the scan scheduler. You can create a really quick scan for say 9 a.m. or even a full system scan that can happen once a month. Bitdefender's cloud signature updates are pretty much happening hourly. So these regular passes add another layer of safety without crushing performance. If you have huge media folders or a VM library that you know for a fact is clean and those pass to exclusions to shave minutes off each scan. Finally, make sure to turn on autopilot in the main dashboard. This AI mode makes quiet decisions on low risk events, meaning that you'll get maximum security with almost zero pop-ups. With the essentials locked in, head over to the update tab and click the check for updates button. So that way the engine pulls the latest virus signatures and feature patches. This takes under a minute on a solid connection and ensures that you will be protected against any new threats that occur. When this update finishes, you can then go ahead and run a one-time annual quick scan. Bitdefender then will sweep your critical system areas and if nothing suspicious turns up, you'll get the reassuring green banner that everything on your system is clean. At this point, performance should feel normal. If you notice lag during large file transfers or game sessions, revisit the scan scheduler and push the full scan to an overnight window or add bulky trusted folders to your exclusion list to lighten the load. If you really want to maximize your VPN's privacy, open the VPN module, choose the auto location for fastest routing, and enable connect automatically on unsecured Wi-Fi. That way your traffic is encrypted and anytime you hop on public networks, you'll be safe. And then the very final step to do is to bookmark Bitdefender Central in your browser. This web dashboard lets you track all of your devices, trigger remotes, and manage subscriptions from one place, which is pretty much priceless. If you guys have any questions about setting this up, make sure to comment them down in the comment section. Also, make sure to hit that like button and of course subscribe so that way you guys never miss any of our future videos. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one.